The formal charge is a calculated number and applies to individual atoms that are covalently bonded. The sum of formal charges is the charge of a covalent compound or a polyatomic ion. For each atom, formal charge can be calculated as follows. The total valence electrons in the atom subtract the quantity of lone pair electrons around the atom plus one half of the electrons that are covalently bonded to the atom. Now we'll look at an example. Methane, CH4, the formal charges on the carbon and the hydrogen are all zero. It's always first to draw the Lewis structure of the polyatomic ion or a covalent compound in this case. Then apply the formula. So we look at the formal charge on the hydrogens first. Substitute the numbers into the equation, one valence electron, subtract zero lone pairs plus one half of two. Two is the number of electrons in covalent bonds associated with the atom. Do the math, you'll find that the formal charge on each hydrogen is zero. Do the same for carbon. The sum of the formal charges for all the atoms is zero. Zero charge on the compound. The method to determine formal charge I just presented is the most common and is found in just about every textbook. I'd like to show you an alternative method to determine formal charge. It's graphical and it's something that I made up. I'm not aware of anybody else presenting this. It works very similar that we determine the formal charge of each atom and then sum the formal charges. But it works like this. We're going to put a ring around each atom. First, we'll start with hydrogen. And the idea is that the ring cuts the covalent bond in half. So we're going to subtract from the group number of the atom the number of electrons in the ring. If we cut the covalent bond in half, in this case it's a single bond, there's one electron in the ring. So one subtract one is zero. Do the same for carbon. In the case of carbon, there are four electrons in the ring and carbon's in group four, therefore the formal charge of carbon is zero. Look at another example, ammonia. The formal charge on each hydrogen is zero. The formal charge on the nitrogen is five, the number of valence electrons, minus two, the two electrons, lone pairs, plus one half of six. The six comes from the two, four, six electrons in covalent bonds. Now we'll determine the formal charges on ammonia using the graphical method. The formal charge on the hydrogen is one minus one. There's one electron in the ring. And if we put a ring on nitrogen, there are five electrons in the ring and the formal charge is zero. Now we'll look at ammonium and H4 plus. The formal charge on each hydrogen is zero. The formal charge on the nitrogen in this case is plus one. There's still five valence electrons associated with nitrogen. But in this case, rather than having a lone pair in the Lewis structure, there are no lone pair electrons. And we have eight total electrons in covalent bonds around the nitrogen.
Now we'll do ammonium using the alternative method. The formal charge on the hydrogen is exactly like before. Now in this case, the ring around nitrogen only has four electrons. So in this case, it's five minus four. And the formal charge on nitrogen is positive one, which is consistent with the other method. Now we'll look at the nitrate ion, NO3 with a negative charge. The formal charge on nitrogen is positive one. The formal charge on the oxygen with the double bond is zero. The formal charge on the oxygens with the single bond is negative one. Add the numbers, you get negative one, which is consistent with the charge on nitrate. Also, we could determine the formal charge on a polyatomic ion using the graphical method. Putting a ring around nitrogen, you see that there are four electrons in the ring, and five minus four is positive one. Putting the ring around the oxygen with the double bond, there are six electrons in the ring, therefore the formal charge is zero. And finally, putting the ring around the oxygen with the single bond, there are seven electrons in the ring, and six minus seven is negative one.